Hello everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this week I'll be showing you a technique that you can use for creating wireframe renders in 3D Studio Max. I tend to use two techniques. The first one allows me to create a wireframe overlay on any of my objects. It's very easy to do and yields a great result. The other technique is how you can sneak a wireframe object into a full rendered environment and not have it look out of place. And that can be important for submissions to competitions, for example. Let me show you how to do these two techniques. For the first one, let's go ahead and open up the material editor. This is a material-based solution. I'm going to select a blank material, and I'm going to change the material type from standard to composite, and I'll click OK. Doesn't matter, I can keep the old one. And what I need to do is apply a wireframe overlay to this material. So in my first material slot, I'll click on None, scroll down and select a standard material, click OK. For the diffuse color, I'm going to choose black, because I'd like a black wireframe overlay, although I could choose any color if I wanted, click OK. And now I'll select wireframe. And you'll notice up here in the preview, we got exactly what we wanted, that gray material with a wireframe overlay. Let's take a render. Oops, forgot to apply it. There we go. So there we have it. We now have the black wireframe overlay onto our original gray material. And one thing I want to do really quick is change my background color. So environment change this to white. We want to be able to see the wireframe for the next technique. One thing that's important to note here is that you can apply any material to this base material. And that can include, for example, a diffuse map and specular mapped material that you would put on, for example, a character. In this case, though, where I'm focused just on the model, I could put in a, an ambient occlusion map, for example, and that'll give me really great shading. Let's take another render. This right here has to be my favorite way of presenting geometry, whether it's in a portfolio uh, or for a competition, because you have the really great spectrum of light to dark. It's very easy to see where the geometry is because of the ambient occlusion material and because you have that wireframe overlay. So let's take a look at that other technique I was telling you about. I'm going to uh, apply that gray material again. So another thing that I like to do is I'll have the original object with its material on one side of the render and then I will take a copy of it so I'm doing shift drag and click OK I'll take another copy of the object and I'll apply to it only the wireframe material so I'm back out here at the top of my composite just click drag throw that in so I have now my wireframe object but here's the trick in order to speed up the render and to, to make it more appropriate for, for this kind of scenario where it looks like a screen grab, I'll go to Edit and Object Properties. And what I'll do is I'll turn off many of these uh, rendering controls. So I don't want any atmospherics on it. I don't want my wireframe to cast or receive shadows. And if my other object has reflective materials on it, I don't want my wireframe to be visible in that reflection. So I'll turn all of these off. And like I said, not only will that speed up the render if I'm using complex lighting, but it'll also, it will also yield a better result here. Let's take one more render. So there you have it. That's how you can create wireframe renders in 3D Studio Max very easily and quickly and while retaining a lot of control over the final outcome. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday Movie. You can find all of my Monday Movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads at my website, www.mrbluesummers.com.